All right, guys, I am back. I'm here on the unreliable. Just went up here and just emptied out my inventory of a ton of stuff. Emptied out a bunch of the uh, the weapons we weren't using, the armor we weren't using, and uh, I even dropped off a bunch of the consumables over here as well. Some of the consumables I pff, probably never used, to be quite honest. Let's just face the facts here. So I just got rid of like everything except for stuff that, you know, gives us like base health plus 25% and... 200% natural health regeneration, you know, stuff like that, stuff that could actually be useful uh, being a part of the inhaler there, so that's good. And we're down to 85 pounds out of 250 right now, so yeah, we had a lot of junk on us, you guys, like actual junk that I was never going to use. And of course, I dropped off the mods as well, got to mention that, but I think I think they weigh like half a pound each, and we had a ton of them, so you know, it adds up. So either way, we need to go to the unreliable, uh, whatever this thing's called, navigation terminal, and we need to go to, what was that place called again? We're not going to be doing Brave New World, obviously. We're going to be doing this one. We need to go to the chem lab, or talk to the guy that works at the, or worked at the chem lab. Dr. Lowe. Yeah, Jasper Lowe. Locate Dr. Jasper Lowe and retrieve his means of access to the chem lab on Gorgon. After the collapse of the Project Gorgon, Dr. Lowe was rumored to have been traded to a secret Auntie Cleo science facility orbiting Olympus. So yeah, we need to head over there and see what he's up to. Land on the Olympus Orbital Pharmaceutical Station, Jasper Lowe's last recorded place of employment is at the Anticleo's facility, orbiting in the atmosphere of the gas giant Olympus. Travel there and find him. All right, well, let's do what we did with both, uh, okay, yeah, we have to go to Olympus, and then there it is right there, Olympus Orbital Pharmaceutical Station. So let's go there. And yeah, just like we talked to that eye patch guy, I forgot his name, and, uh, oh. An unknown vessel is approaching our ship. Their intentions are currently indeterminate. Once I deduce their intentions, I will play one of two audio signals. A cheerful fanfare if they are friendly, alarms if they are hostile. Their intentions are no longer unknown. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, we've got the alarms going off. Are we under attack? At precisely this moment, Captain? No. Within the next 60 to 90 seconds? Yes. The unknown vessel has deployed a boarding mechanism. They will attach themselves to our airlock and attempt boarding shortly. That sound indicates that a boarding mechanism has successfully attached to our airlock. Captain, I am pleased to inform you that we are currently in the process of being boarded. Uh, I'm sorry, what? You're not supposed to be pleased to tell me that we're being boarded, Ada. I have been programmed to simulate joy and excitement at the opportunity to test my limited defensive capabilities. Captain Hawthorne installed a lethal shock trap on our airlock in the event of an invasion. I am prepared to deploy this trap at a moment's notice. Well, do it. If they're coming on board, then take care of them, or else I'll take care of them, right? Who are these people and what do they want? Our airlock has death trap enabled or installed? <laughs> Ada, you need to tell me these things. So, uh, when you said you had a Marauder deterrent system back in Emerald Vale, <laughs> I guess that's it, huh? So yeah. Uh, who are these people and what do they want? The invading ship appears to be a decommissioned storage vessel. The crew are either pirates or freelancers. My opinion of their competence is low. Ooh, pirates. Well, how'd they find us? Let them know that I'm flattered, but I wish they bought me dinner first. Uh, I hope they could put up a fight because I'm in the mood to kill something. Yeah, after two, three, four episodes of literally just reading terminals and then maybe like killing a marauder here or there. Yeah, but let's try and hack and kill some, right? Sheesh. Do you intend to board their ship instead, Captain? I have been programmed to appreciate the irony of this situation. Their ship is using a tracking device too sophisticated for their primitive astrogator. I conclude they are receiving outside assistance. If you prefer to make an escape, I can disable their boarding mechanism. However, as long as that tracking device remains on board their ship, they will be able to find us again. All right, well, you can get us out of here. How? Yes, Captain. I am capable of deploying the Unreliable's articulated thrusters to dislodge their ship from our own. This is a temporary solution, however. A permanent solution may require your personal intervention. All right, well, I guess I'll go deal with this myself. Understood, Captain. I will be deploying the Unreliable's lethal deterrence system. Please approach the airlock and enjoy the show. All right, well, let's go. Everyone's lined up here. Oh, whoa, they changed this. Will they die or what? Ada, what else she got trapped? Yeah, well, she told us that a little bit too late, but whatever. Transition to the invading ship. All right. We just heard, like, shocking right there. I wonder what happened right now. Really? We could always still take two of them. 
But, uh, yeah, I, I, I wonder if there's going to be, like, dead bodies here in the airlock and stuff like that. We're going to be taking on pirates, finally. Either way, uh, Ellie, I think we're going to be taking Ellie and, uh, oh, I guess we have to deselect. There you go. Ellie and, uh, Naoka, because we haven't used them for the DLC just yet. We've been using Felix, uh, Vicar Max for the first bit, I think. And then we used Parvati and Sam a little bit, uh, after that. Now we're going to be using Ellie and, uh, Nyoka, so let's, let's jump into this. Borst, oh god, every time I see that, it's disgusting. Oh, and, uh, yeah, I guess, I guess the, uh, anti-marauder measures worked. Ooh, freebooters. How many times do I have to tell you people, don't stand so close to the speaker? I can hear you breathing. <sighs> well, I'm not one of your goons. You people have no idea how to board a ship. Let me show you. Don't worry, we'll be talking face to face real soon. Or I could just step away from the microphone, I guess. <laughs> All right, well, I'm not one of your goons. The goons haven't played tossball for a decade. We're the freebooters. I'll admit this attack hasn't gone strictly according to plan. But as we like to say in the league, no strategy survives contact with the opponent. Let's call this round a draw. You head back to your end of the field, I'll regroup my team, and we'll see where things take us in the second half. What do you say? What in the world is this guy talking about? He, his name is Coach Stilly, and he thinks we're playing Tossball? Yeah, number four. <laughs> Hold on, you think we're playing Tossball? Of course we're playing Tossball. We're the freebooters. Tossball is what we do. Tossball and piracy. Here's the problem. I can't let you live, but as long as you're on my ship, you've got the advantage over us. So, we're at an impasse. Hmm. Man, I, I think I need to take a, uh, a inhaler, and I'll be able to do the Intimidate 95 or Persuade 95. I'm pretty sure we should be able to do those. But, uh, I wonder if I could do five and then take it and then come back. Okay, well, let's see if I... Uh, there you go. And let's use it again. You're still here. So what are we gonna do about this... Impasse. Yeah, I don't know. It, it, let's check our stats real quick, though. Let me leave again. <laughs> let's check our stats. Whoops, that's the wrong thing. Let's check our stats real quick, because I want to see what we're at. What was it? Intimidate and, uh... We're only at 80. What? Persuade is 80 and... Okay, I guess maybe I'll we'll switch out my companions. Whoops, I guess Nyoka and Ellie, I guess you guys aren't good enough, so, uh... Oh, whoa. Starship Hunters. Transition to the Unreliable Interiors. Yeah, let's go back. I guess I'll switch my companions out. Who would be, uh, more intimidating, though? I guess I have to look at the stuff, like, over here. Like, for Ellie, look at her, like, card thing here. Oh, yeah, you can see her skills here. Lie, medical, engineering. Who would be persuade? Oh, I guess, yeah, uh, Felix has persuade. And then there's also intimidate. Who could persuade or intimidate? Lie, sneak, medical. Persuade. Oh, okay, okay so I could have Parvati and uh, Felix and get, like, doubly persuade. So that sounds good. What about Intimidate? I'm kind of thinking about Intimidate. Yeah, I guess we'll get to Vicar Max. Who else has Intimidate? Sam? Yep, Sam and Vicar. Okay, well, I guess we'll get both of them. Just kind of re-up on it a little bit. Boom. And uh, deselect Nyoka and Ellie, and we'll get Sam and Vicar. There you go, nice. Because I kind of want to be a little bit threatening to this guy. He thinks we're playing Tossball, but, man, we're playing a much more dangerous game here. What in the world is that wasp? Yeah, they have, they, they've got, like, Oh, whoops. I wonder if I could steal these. Like, he can't see this, right? Blip, blip, blip. <laughs> I'm like, I think we're technically in their ship. And, uh, well, these guys got all, like, singed from the electrical, like, defenses or whatever. <laughs> Which is good. Get some ordnance control armor there and coolant tanks. Well, I guess it's a little bit too late for those coolant tanks. Hey, music box. It's some random other trash here, right? We got the carry weight. I might as well use it, right? So there you go. Just pick it up and get some random trash. Whoa! Century Saber Mark III somehow got impaled into the wall right there. That was crazy. What's this? Whoa! We got cannons. I'll go in there a little bit later. Sure, grip. I'll steal that. Let me just steal everything here, actually. There you go. <laughs> you can still see the cannons, like, uh, detection meter there. Yeah, I was talking to this guy now, and let's intimidate him. You're still here. So what are we gonna do about this impasse? Well, don't worry. I'm gonna break your impasse for you. Yeah? And how exactly are you gonna do that? Did I say impasse? Slip of the tongue. I meant every bone in your body. I could do that with my strength. That's actually kind of surprising. Hey, Sam, how fast can you melt human tissue down, down into a puddle of ooze? He can do that, it's true. Long gun 60, haven't decided. I figured I'd use you as target practice until the idea hits me. And, uh, ruin the surprise? Give me a little credit. Uh, maybe I'll do the... I'm kind of thinking about maybe the Sam or the breaking of the bone one. 
Maybe I'll do the Sam one. That sounds savage. Hey, Sam, how fast can you melt human tissue down to a puddle of ooze? Query. How fast can Sam units melt human tissue? Answer. 6.02 seconds, customer. All right, all right. Easy there, psychopath. Why don't we talk this over? Coach to coach. Come speak to me in my office. Up through the cargo hold. All right. Oh, oh. Good to see you. Head upstairs. What in the world is this pathfinding? I wonder if I can kill this guy. Can I talk to him? Hey, no eye contact. Eye contact? I, I, you, don't, I, you don't even have like slits for like your eyes or whatever. I know this is, I guess I'll get a quick save and choose our weapons at least for right now. We're going to be talking to the captain or I should say coach of the ship, I guess. It's very strange. I wonder if I could bring... I'm kind of, well, now that we have the thing kind of, like, we have the intimidation thing going. I wonder if I can bring Felix, because he's, like, he's like a big toss, he's big into toss ball, right? So, maybe I could bring him, and we'd have some interesting uh, responses and stuff for him. So, maybe I'll bring him, and maybe Sam, I guess. So, oh, whoops, as I deselect Sam, pff, there's Felix right there. Like, look at that, I think that's a toss ball he has in his hand right there. I think, I'm not 100% sure, I've never actually seen it happen. But, uh, see what he says about us being on board. The Freebooters. Because apparently, I, I wonder if he knows that they're like half toss ball team, half pirate team. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Bracelet. Oh man, I could actually pick this thing. I have 103 lockpick right now. Model spaceship, jeweled ring, plasma, plasma launcher. What? Oh, that must be like a gloop gun type thing. I could probably steal it, but uh, I'm 99% sure I'm detected right now. <laughs> so I doubt we can do anything right now. What do you have to say about this, Felix? I don't think he says anything. And let's go to the coach's quarters, which is such a weird thing to see. Captain Hawthorne. All right, easy now. Let's just keep our weapons holstered like civilized people. I'll drop the toss ball act and we can have ourselves a conversation like reasonable people. Long as you promise not to bloody up my floor. Deal? Well, seems a little bit too late for that. We have some, like, electrical defenses that already either killed or knocked out a few of your freebooters downstairs. So, yeah, a little bit too late for that, it seems. Why did you attack my ship? Who do you work for? Somebody hired you to cross me off. I want you to break your contract. Ooh, yeah, this might be what happened to uh, Lucky Montoya and how his arm got like severed and so well, I, I think it got severed by like stuff, but it got like sent to us and all that stuff as like a message. Let's do number two. You know I can't just back out of a job. I've got a reputation to think about. Ooh, I knew it. Persuade 95. Hey, look at that. We're, we're doing pretty well with that. So that's good. Uh, you and your team are a joke. Take your ship and get out of here. Who sent you after my ship? And what do you want? I wonder if I could do that and then... Oh, then I could attack. That'd be pretty fun. Or I could bribe them, which I'm not going to do. I think we have like 11,000 bits right now, so I can afford it, but I'm not going to do it. <laughs> but I, I kind of want to, at least right now, maybe do number four. Who sent you after my ship and what do they want? My team and I were contracted to apprehend the unreliable, eliminate its crew, and dispose of the captain. I couldn't tell you who hired me even if I wanted to. The contract's anonymous. No names, no faces. Just money and a target. I can't turn down a job like that. You understand. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll do number two then. You and your team are a joke. Take your ship and get out of here. You're gonna let me walk away just like that. I'm probably gonna regret asking this, but... Why? Oh, I didn't think it was gonna lead to that. Whoops. <laughs> I kind of want to fight these guys, actually, now I think about it, but thought that'd maybe get us a little bit more information, because, you know, we're not, you know, killing them by doing that. Kind of like that first question, but whatever. I'm feeling merciful, don't question it. Your own incompetence is going to get you killed. Why should I get my hands dirty? Heck if I know. <laughs> I don't know, I'll do number three. Yeah, I didn't really mean to do that, to be quite honest. Can't argue with that. <laughs> I'll keep my ship clear of yours. You and I will never cross orbits again. Hmm. Oh, I could have used, uh, yeah, I could have talked to Ada. For help with this. Yeah, I forgot that was a thing. You'd better hold to that. That's what I like to hear. Yeah, I guess I guess we do number two. I got no reason to come after you. Use my credentials to get inside the cockpit and take our tracking device. Our astrogation terminal was tracking your ship. Don't ask me how. Never had much luck with computing devices myself. Yeah, that's what Ada told us. And what are you going to tell your employer? The truth. We never caught up to the unreliable. You vanished somewhere into the void. Astrogator never picked up your location again. Whoa. Well, I'm leaving. All right. Honestly, I'm I, I'm kind of thinking about reloading that quick save we did to uh let, let's just reload it. 
because I want to go back to... Oh, whoa, where did this take us? Oh, I've still got Vicar right now. Ooh, okay, I guess I'll switch him out to uh, Felix just because I want to see if there's any memes happening. But I do want to at least have a little bit of action going on, as well as... Do I really trust that guy to, to report back to whoever and say, yeah, I just, well, I never found the uh, the unreliable. I guess I'll get rid of Vicar Max and go to Felix. There you go, just like we did. I don't know if I really trust that guy, so I think we're going to go up to him and I'm just going to... We're just going to fight. I think that's what's going to happen. All right, easy now. Let's just keep our weapons holstered like civilized people. I'll drop the toss ball act and we can have ourselves a conversation like reasonable people. Long as you promise not to bloody up my floor. Deal? Uh, no. No deal. <laughs> deal or no deal? No deal. All right, well, there you go. Boom, he's dead. The coach is down. Let me get this guy. We have TTD enabled. Let me try and mark a couple guys here, especially the guys with the big heavy weapons. Boom. Oh, never mind. I'm dead. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I didn't do that fast enough, did I? Oh, wait, where does this going take us now? Oh, man, it took us back to the same... Oh, I guess we... Yeah, okay, whatever. Forget about Felix. Let's just go up there and let's go talk to him again. And, uh, yeah, definitely want to mark the guys with N-Ray. That are, that are uh, right, having heavy enough. weapons and stuff. I'll oh, drop the no deal. Here we go. Boom. And he is now down. That's good. All right. Mark that guy with N-Ray. Reload. Stay around this cover. Get some more T. Oh, wait. I don't have TTD right now. There you go. Take a... Boom. Vicar Max is now revived. Where are these guys at? Oh, whoops. Oh, there's one like right in front of me. There's another one. Oh. Yeah, these guys have some pretty good stuff. See, this is what happens when we go basically the whole heckin' miniseries or whatever you want to call it here. With no action. It just all of a sudden, oh man, we're, we're playing a visual novel. All of a sudden, we, we have a random bit of combat, and I'm completely rusty as butt cheeks. <laughs> oh, right, oh, if now. anything, you know what? Let's this this could be good for the gloop gun. Like yeah, I'll get the gloop gun. I'll kill this guy, and I'll, I'll switch I'll to the gloop gun. There you go. Kill this guy. Boom. There you go. Wait, oh, whoa, he didn't die immediately. What in the world? Oh, yeah, we do have the heavy machine gun, too. Uh, for some reason, Sam and every basically everyone's getting killed here. This is kind of crazy. Hold on. Let's get this. Oh, uh, boom. There you go. That guy's been stunned. That's good. Tosser. Oh, wait, hold on. Might as well mark him with N-Ray, because whatever they have is pretty heckin' good. There you go. And let's get the glue gun back out. Boom. Mark that guy. Oh, wait. Oh, no. I'm going to get killed. I'm going to get killed. Hold on. Oh, man, I'm reloading. Hold on. Freebooter goalie. <laughs> Trying to get this guy in the heckin' face. Hold on. As I'm reloading with TTD. There you go. Blind him. Got him in the head. And he is now down. That's good. Nice. All right, I don't know if- oh, whoa, that- is that guy melee or what? I don't know. First thing- I like how I was actually giving them, like, position names. That's funny. <laughs> Hold on. Let's do another one. Boom. Even though we're full health, I just want to heal up my companions. Any more enemy- oh, wait, yep, there's an enemy here somewhere. Hold on, where? Where are they? Yeah, I like loop gun. Yeah, don't- don't want to forget about that thing. Because that thing could definitely- oh, no one hiding in the bathrooms? I guess not. I guess, yeah, we could just- we could steal anything we want here now. That's good. What's this? Oh, I need, oh wait, no, I don't need a key card. I can just pick into here. No problemo. And, ba-boom. Anyone in here? What's this? Grenade launcher three. Whoa. I'm going to have to give that to Felix. And a model spaceship. Well, it's mine now. Whoever's still alive here, there, you're heckin' dead. And you know what? I just, I just got tons of carry weight back. So I'm taking everything, hater. <laughs> this is going into my ship now. I wonder if I can actually steal their ship. Whoa, what is this? Advanced uh, defensive helmet. What if I could actually steal the ship? Like, it's just going to be sitting out here in the middle of space for no reason. Doing absolutely nothing, nothing I guess. This guy's probably downstairs, to be quite honest. Uh, but we do need to go up and get, the, like, the tracker thing or whatever. Uh, oh. Oh, I can't, ah, I can't lockpick that thing. I don't know why I can't lockpick it. Hmm. Either way, uh, we could probably find a keycard around here somewhere. Maybe on one of these guys. Uh, yeah, plasma launcher. What is this thing, actually? I want to test it out. It is a heavy weapon. I don't think we've had it before. Is this the new weapon? There is a new weapon for this DLC. Is this what the new weapon is? Oh, it might be. I. It seems interesting. It seems interesting, I'll say that. These freebooters might have some pretty, uh... Oh, wait, hold on, what was that? I think I picked up, uh, the card or, uh, some, I don't know, a 500 bit card. I can't, wait, I can't get that. What? What is stopping me from being able to pick that? Surely I could have... What do I have lockpicking-wise? Only 60, what? Oh, yeah, because we got the other companion. Okay, I guess we can come back here and get it. Uh, oh, and there's the terminal. And oh, that's just like a JPEG or whatever. I thought maybe, oh, that's like a live uh, live feed of what's going on down there, but I guess not. Uh, I'll already leave that guy. I already leave that guy. There's nothing else around here except for this. Society, uh, whatever, cigarette. Is there anything in... Oh, yeah, the yeah, 500-bit card. That's a decent amount. I'll, I'll, I'll probably come back here and get it. 
but uh, we do have this too. Yeah, we should be able to pick this once we actually have the, uh, and then we get the plasma launcher 2.0, which is, what is that, uh, what do we have right now? We have the, yeah, we have the 2.0, 752 uh, DPS, we could, if we find a workbench around here, we could actually get that up a little bit more, which is good. What does this take, heavy? Uh, energy, okay, yeah, how much energy do we have? We have the most energy, 5591, golly. Yeah, I've got tons of that, I don't have to worry about that at all, that's crazy. Alright, well, there is a downstairs, but as we saw, flywheel, cooler, and tanks, I'll take those to mind if I do. We can go to the, uh, you know what? Oh, I guess we can go to the... Where are we going? That way, and then another one down there. Navigation terminal, and there's Ada down there. I think that's to our ship, right? So we'll need to go down to their navigation terminal, I suppose. But what was that thing that we just picked up? Kind of curious about that, though. Where, where would that be? Probably here. Is this it? Uh, yep, there it is right there. His credentials, yep. Obsolete, like Coach Stilly's toss ball record. Nonetheless, these credentials are enough to give you access to the ship's cockpit, which is good, because we're heading down there right now, so. Let's go see what's going on down there. Let's reload this thing while we're at it. Were we inside of here? Uh, no, we were not. What is this thing? S Lucky Sprat Foot? What in the world? Optional, uh, there's like tap toss ball sticks there. Sist a bits. Yeah, look at those toss balls right there. So that's, I think that's what, uh, music box. I think that's what, uh, Felix was like tossing around. <laughs> Pardon the pun, I guess, right? And just having fun. These are like weights here, uh, kettlebells and stuff there. Just kind of exercising with, I suppose. What is this? No idea what that is. I can't even, oh, there you go. Got it right there. Nice. Is there anywhere else? Uh, except for, of course, there, which I guess we could pick as well, like I said. He's like, yeah, these both go the same direction. Uh, we can pick that when we come back with, like, Felix, I suppose. But for right now, I wonder if we even can come back with Felix. Because if we go down to the navigation terminal and, like, do whatever down there, that's probably going to be the end of that. So I suppose we'll go back and get Felix real quick. And, hey, at least at least with this encounter, we got ourselves a pretty cool new weapon, it seems. Uh, it does decent damage. How much does that actually do compared to the N-Ray gun that we have? The N-Ray one is 1,026. This one's 752. We could probably upgrade it, though, to be pretty good, uh, but it is kind of like a... I don't know how to describe it. It's kind of it's kind of like the gloop gun, actually. You know, we charge it up, and then... Well, the gloop gun, you don't need to charge up. Status report. 13. Job scheduled for area maintenance. We'll do the area maintenance, then. All right, let's get Felix, as we just looked him in the eye, basically, right there, and uh, get rid of Felix. Uh, figure, ah, you know what? Now we had Vicar Max, and uh, let's have Felix and Sam. Let's go... Because I think there's at least one more enemy down here. Test out this new weapon, the plasma launcher, which sounds pretty cool. Uh, it seems like it did pretty good damage, too, because we died, like, what, three times there? Oh, there's an upstairs bit, too. Oh, there's more. Oh, I can actually uh, pick this stuff now that I have Felix here, so that's good. Center troop armor, bit cartridges, dervish mist. I guess I'll grab all this stuff. Sure, why not? There you go. I guess I'll pick everything else that we have up here, right? And pick this stuff. And Oh, wait, there's two enemies down there. What? Oh, there's just one uh, red arrow, but I guess... Nice work. Nice, thanks. It's all thanks to you there, Felix. I, I actually would not... Uh, oh, oh, Oxycomp Aromatic. I actually would been in, would have been unable to pick this without you. <laughs> well, let's pick this, get the 500-bit cartridges. The I guess while we're here, we can look at the terminal. Uh, hack deleted messages. Ooh, we can do that now. Notice of di discontinuation. I guess... Oh, God. I guess if you guys want to catch up on the lore about this guy, I suppose you could read this on your own time, but we've been doing enough reading in the past, like, ten... The whole series, actually. The whole mini-series. I don't, I don't want to do more of that. <laughs> On following instructions. If you guys want to read that, hey, there you go. That's from the coach to his team. There you go. And another one right here you can read. Ba boom. There you go. And what about these messages? From error. <laughs> Your target is oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa. This might be it right here. I think this is it. From error unknown sender to L, L Stilly. Subject contract. Your target is the unreliable, a small, inconsequential ship with no significant defenses. Freelancer owned and operated. Captained by a two-bit smuggler who goes by Alex Hawthorne. I assume this is the guy in the OCI or whatever, or we saw him on like the OCI's like monitors and stuff and said, oh, you better stop or whatever. He's like trying to stop us, basically. And I, I, I keep assuming that it's like Lawrence Goodfellow, but whoever this is must have like the wrong information about us because even he thinks we're Alex Hawthorne. He might, maybe he sees the unreliable ship. He looks up the unreliable's captain like in some database. It says, oh, okay, the, sh the captain of this ship is Alex Hawthorne, so that guy must be Alex Hawthorne. But no, <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm bragging, literally. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, intercept the unreliable, eliminate Hawthorne and any crew in your way. I've sent you an advance along with a tracking device for your astrogator. Ooh, so the advance was probably that 500 bits that we just got out of a safe right there, which is nothing. <laughs> anyways, from Firefly Company Comp. Company, what's it say? Uh, from Firefly Company, Office of Clerical Oversight. 
to whom it may concern on the future of the Freebooters brand. Oh, these, uh, because we can't, yeah, we saw, we like, we saw like a, I guess it's a firefly. We saw some sort of bug around the ship, like a logo of a bug. I guess, I guess the company Firefly ha owns this team, the Freebooters, the Firefly Freebooters. So that's pretty interesting, but hey, if you guys want to read this, there you go. If you want to pause, oh yeah, that covers everything right there. If you want to pause and read that on your own time, then hey, there you go. I think that should be everything. But hey, I think I think in terms of the story we have here, uh, energy cell, eh, I'll take that. In terms of the story, uh, we read everything worthwhile there, which is good. So I think we looted everything over here that uh, could have been looted or was locked and hadn't been looted yet. So I think we have that covered now. There was this. Yes. I think this is the only thing we haven't yet looted that we can loot now that we have Felix here to... Oh yeah, see, look, yeah, look at that, that's a firefly right there. What's this? Ch champion tossable stick. Yeah, I don't think there's anything crazy about that stealth, stealth kit. I don't think there's anything crazy about it. Like, I, I saw the name champion, and I thought, oh man, it's a special variant of it, but no. It's just a, whoa, Hall of Famer, well, this one is. <laughs> right as I say that, the Hall of Famer tossable stick. 807 DPS compared to 713 compared to 713 compared to 713 blah, 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 blah. at 837. This one's a one-handed though. This one's two-handed. Yeah, that's actually kind of surprising for a two-handed weapon. I guess I can give that to Felix. Uh, his current one is a level 31 champion tossable stick. 997 DPS. If I give it to him, 992. So it goes down a little bit, but hey, we can level it up to level 31 and it'll probably be a little bit better. So that, that sounds good. Uh, anyways, oh yeah, we do have another uh, plasma launcher. Maybe I'll give him one. 25, 73 DPS down to 730 or 52. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't think uh, I don't think I want to do that downgrade. Uh, was there any other areas here that were? Yeah, look at that firefly thing right there. And another one right here. <laughs> There's a lot of this around here. It's crazy. But uh, let's go down. Apparently two enemies here that we have yet to. Uh, oh, whoa. Galley. Can, do I have the? Whoa, jeez. And now there's three, four enemies on them. I guess I went to the wrong area here. Whoops. Energy cell, heavy ammo, light ammo. I guess I'll pick or uh, lock pick into here because I don't have the key. Oh, cannon. We have a cannon. Arrive at the bat. Boom. Thousand damage. Fifteen hundred damage. Boom. Another. Uh, oh man, I'm almost dead. Woo. There you go. Holy yeah, these cannons are crazy. Hold on, let me get this guy. There you go. Shot at that guy. A thousand thirty-two damage right there. Boom. I think the one he shot at me didn't hit, so that's good. And let me get another one of these. Boom. There you go. Yeah, I need to, uh, I need to use Sam and whoever else, uh, Felix, I need to use your special abilities. I forgot to use it right there. Whoops. Didn't know that, uh, hold on. Where does the, uh, other side go? I don't know where the, hold on. Maybe this, I need to check. Can it tail? I don't, I, I'm not seeing the other ladder. Where does it actually go, though? The same stuff or what? What is this? Because I don't think, I, oh, yeah, I guess maybe it's kind of hidden. I, that's why I didn't see it. And then there's a door. Oh yeah, I guess yeah. Yeah, I didn't see it because there was a door hiding it there. But hey, at least we cover both sides. Now we get the energy cells. But yeah, this this weapon seems pretty fucking good. About a thousand damage. Every assist to pick hoof. Ugh. About a thousand damage. Uh, whenever you hit head on, I think that's a toss ball right there. And then uh, I think it even does splash as well, which is good. So we can actually do damage to other critters. Oh man. Oh. Wait. What? Oh. Oh. Okay. Now. Yeah. Remember when we? I was like wondering what in the world. Yeah. That's where we came in. I think we opened up this door very briefly and then saw the candidates and stuff, but yeah, I guess everything just kind of sort of go around right there. Sista pig to an actual, like, a bag of Sista pig tumors right there. That's disgusting. <laughs> what else is around here, though? Tamed candid. Yeah, that thing's dead. These guys are dead. Big cartridges. Galley key card. Hey, we got the galley key card after we already broke into here. Uh, nanner spam. I'll take all that. Yeah, these are just fridges. Bunch of random stuff. And pancake mix, too. Hey, I can make some waffles out of that. <laughs> what else is around here? Uh, pure, plain and pure water. Man, I'm I'm going to get over and I'm watch. I'm probably going to get over and covered by all this stuff. I'm up to 157 pounds out of 250, so I'm I'm slowly getting there. <laughs> right after I I got rid of a bunch of stuff down to like 85 pounds or whatever, we're already up to like 150 ish. That's crazy. What's this big thing? Jeweled ring, cooling, uh, big gorgeous mag. I'll take it. Film out of it. I'll take everything. I don't care. I want to slurp up all the loot. That's what I'm here for. Did we get everything here though? If that takes us there. Oh yeah, there's like an engine room over there. I want to see what that's all about. If I could actually, oh, whoa, 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 ration pills, don't mind if I do. It's pre-sliced bread, nice. I guess I could, I, I guess you could call that, like, bread in the store, you can call it pre-sliced bread, that's nice to know. <laughs> like, I guess, I guess pre-sliced and then just regular sliced, are they the same thing? I don't know, maybe, oh yeah, I keep forgetting about the dodge thing. 
I don't know why I keep forgetting about that, but whatever. What is this thing? Pneumatic piston, I'll take that. Another key card right here to the galley key card while we're in the galley, basically. And a flywheel and some coolant tanks, I'll take all this stuff. Don't mind if I do, I need to slurp up all the loot. Get like the, the minimal amount of bits that I'll get from selling this trash. <laughs> oh, I wonder if I could take their thing here and like turn off their ship, basically. But yeah, that, that, that engine thing looks basically the same as our engine thing, so. Yeah, nothing too crazy here, but. I wonder if we could actually, uh, maybe like give this ship to Ellie. Cause she, uh, oh, yeah, there you go, open that up with his credentials. And yeah, this looks very comparable to our ship here. Whoops, that was an accident. Light machine gun mark three. Don't we already have one of those 318 bit cartridges? Hold on. Uh, what do we have? Oh, I don't think we have it, do we? 1947 DPS mark three. I think Felix has one, right? Uh, yeah, he has mark three. So yeah, nothing too crazy. Uh, isn't, there should be a workbench back there, right? Maybe. I wonder if he has an ADA. It's just a terminal. Here's this, uh, navigation thing. And there's some loot over here. Boom. There you go. So now we need to, like, deactivate that, that, that tracking, uh... Yeah, here we go. Tracking device. Let's go there. Remove the tracking device. Boom. Alright, we're good here. And let's return to Ada. You've gained the tracking protocol cartridge. Nice. Inventory logs. What's here? Uh, let's see. Accepted cargo, firefly, energy cells. And... I don't, I don't see anything significant there. Alright. But either way, yeah, we got the tracking thing now, so that's good. I don't think there's anything here. I don't think I need to get, like, this pure... Pure and pure water, or whatever it's called. Pfft. I don't need to get that trash, right? Uh, I think we're pretty well set here. Now we can go back to the unreliable and I guess do whatever that maneuver was that uh, Ada suggested earlier. Where we could like basically detach this thing from us and it'll just be sitting out here in space forever. Who's pardon, pardon, pardoni? Yeah, he doesn't have an Ada because he just has a terminal. I guess ours is like a little bit more upgraded than his. Or maybe more outdated, I don't know. Welcome back, Captain. I understand you have resolved your differences with our former boarding party. Are you ready to depart? Yeah, it was a peaceful uh, re resolution that we came to here. Yeah, let's get going. Understood, Captain. Resuming our course. All right. Oh, did you guys see that? She had like blinds up on her windows. Yeah, see now now the windows are open, we can actually see outside. I've lost Coach Stilly's uh, credentials and the tracking protocol and the galley key card. Whoops. All right. Well, now we're next to uh, what was this play called again? Not Monarch. I keep wanting to call Monarch. Olympus. Ooh, yeah, Monarch is one of its moons, though. But yeah, look at this. Look at Olympus. Very Jupiter-esque. Very cool. Man, I don't see Monarch here, though. Maybe it's on the other side of the planet, but man, that thing is huge! It takes up the whole entire thing here! This is crazy, you guys. Really, really cool. But yeah, it's something I want to do real quick, though, is go see if we can actually upgrade this thing at our uh, workbench, because I don't think he had a workbench there, so obviously we were unable to upgrade it, right? So I suppose we can go over here, tinker, and then uh, 940 DPS, we can get that up to... from... 1034. Okay, yeah. See, the DPS thing is different from the actual damage. We Every time we shot this thing, it did like a thousand something damage. And I guess that's what it is there on the right. 1034. Now it will go up to 1078. So let's do that. Boom. 75 bits. I'll take that. And it'll go up to 1123. There you go. 1167. And 1211. And 1256. And I'll probably stop there, honestly. It's 1256 to 1300 for 1600 bits. Ah, that's a decent amount. Maybe I'll do it. But level 35. Uh, 219, this is also 1500. Muffin's Force. I upgraded that a little bit more substantially. Maybe I'll upgrade this one more time. Let's do it. We got 10,000 bits. We can do it. We can afford that. I want to do it another time, though. That's 2955 bits to go from 1300 to 1344. So, yeah. You can see the whole diminishing returns thing right there. More money, like double the money for even less damage, basically. So, yeah. At least the DPS is up to uh, 1182 right now, which is crazy good. I suppose, I'm like, we do have that one uh, grenade launcher, three. I don't know if I want to give that to anyone, but I'll definitely consider keeping some of these things. Uh, maybe in storage. Speaking of storage, yeah, definitely want to put up a bunch of the heckin' stuff we just picked up in storage. Because <laughs> I just dropped off a ton of stuff earlier, so I might as well uh, drop off even more of the stuff. But Like the light machine gun mark three, yeah, eh. I'll store that, I'll store that. Uh, and the other plasma launcher, I'll put that up as well. And the glue gun, I definitely want to keep at least right now, just because it seems... <laughs> you know, for certain situations, but I don't know. Maybe I'll put it up. Yeah, I guess I'll put it up. I'm like, we have a gloop gun-esque item right now, you know? It, it doesn't stun anything, but hey, at least it does damage whenever we loop things up with that plasma launcher, right? So that's good. And we probably, like, salvage slash sell pretty much everything else there. So that, that, that's, that that seems fine. What's this thing? Appreciation of even toad un undulates by Dahlia Hudson. What? I don't know if we ever looked at this thing, but hey, if you guys want to read that, then there you go. Something about llamas and alpacas and stuff. <laughs> 